Orca whales are the largest dispersed mammal in the world under humans. They are remarkable hunters that feed on fish, sharks, rays, and even other mammals. Their feeding pattern is based on their geographical location. Orcas are sorted into two main types based on their feeding strategies, residents and transients. Orcas have localized populations called ecotypes that differ in appearance, diet, and behavior. The distinctions between different pods and clans are based on language. A single clan is comprised of several pods or family groups. All of the pods speak the same language, but each pod has its own accent or dialect. Although called orca whales, they are in fact the largest of the dolphin family. Another name you may have heard them go by is wolf of the sea. This term comes from the collaborative pack hunting technique similar to wolves. The hunt is led by the females due to their matriarchal society. Orcas use echolocation communication during these hunts. They send out a sonar-like sound which will come back to them and they will see almost like a 3D image of what they are chasing or locating. This form of communication is robbed from them while they are being held in captivity. It has been compared to humans having their sight taken away. On top of that, these highly intelligent animals due to complete boredom display signs of self-mutilation and stereotypic behaviors. Orcas do not have smelling organs or a lobe of the brain dedicated to smelling, so it is believed that they cannot smell. They do, however, have good sense of sight and hearing, which plays part in the pack-style hunting. Orcas have the second largest brain amongst all ocean mammals, weighing as much as 15 pounds. It hasn't been found out yet or made clear whether they are as well endowed with memory cells as humans, but scientists have found that they are well wired for sensing and analyzing their watery three-dimensional environment. They also have a part of the brain humans do not have, a part that makes them very emotional thinkers. Like other dolphins, orcas cannot completely go to sleep because they have to go up to the surface to breathe. Instead, they sleep with just half of their brain. If a killer whale's left eye is open, that means the right side of his brain is awake and the other is asleep, and vice versa. This elite predator gives a whole new meaning to sleeping with one eye open. Orcas are the top of the food chain in the ocean, having only one known predator, which is man. Orcas began being captured for captivity in the 1960s. The beautiful young calves became victims of a complete disregard for the natural order and social structures. Many of wild orcas were stolen from their families and forced to live in artificial social groupings, which showed no resemblance to how they would live in their natural habitat. Knowing these amazing facts about the beloved creature, how much more do you think it is for them to be depressed in these small, unnatural environments? They exhibit a range of emotions from joy, fear, frustration, and even anger, as well as self-awareness, not only in their natural habitat, but also in captivity. There are numerous harms for holding orcas and other cetaceans for slaves to entertainment. Just a few include shorter lives. The death rate for captive orcas is 2.5 times higher than in the wild. Bottlenose dolphins and belugas also have higher death rates in captivity than in the wild. Attacks. Frustration can cause captive whales and dolphins to attack each other and sometimes trainers and members of the public. These are animals that in their natural habitat do not have war unlike any other mammal on earth. Repetitive Behaviors In confinement, whales and dolphins may swim endlessly in circles, lie on the floor of the tank for many hours, chew concrete and metal structures, and repeat the same patterns of behavior. Orcas in the wild spend 60% of their time foraging for food and swim up to 100 miles per day. 
Their genetic nature is to swim, which is being taken away from them. Dorsal fin collapse. Orcas kept in tanks spend most of their time logging and seeing how they swim only in circles causes their tall dorsal fins to collapse to one side. Dorsal fin collapse has been observed in 1% of wild orcas. 100% of captive male orcas have collapsed dorsal fins. Drugs. Some parks give captive whales and dolphins tranquilizers to relieve the stress they are feeling. And many are on antibiotics and other treatments for chronic health issues, including daily doses of tagamet for stress-related ulcers. Today, there are more than 3,000 whales and dolphins held captive in aquariums, zoos, and marine parks. Already 160-plus orcas have died in captivity. Male orcas in the wild live to be upwards to 50 plus years old, and females in the wild live upwards to 70 plus years old. There are many resources out there so you can also be a voice for them. And you might be wondering, well, how can I help? Well, one of the things you can do is check out Rick O'Berry's Dolphin Project, Dr. Ingrid Visser's Free Morgan Campaign, and be part of the movement for Empty the Tanks. And also, please donate. 97% of all donations worldwide are contributions that go to human welfare. And only 3% go to the conservation of animals and animal care. So please make sure that you're donating. Whether big or small, it does help. And please, don't buy a ticket.